Hey pilots, hope your weekend is going well for you. I have the answer to a trivia question I asked on the Discord when I posted uh, the last video or two videos ago that I did on the XFL1. And the trivia question was, what has a lower muzzle velocity than the XFL1's um, 37 millimeters and machine guns both? And as far as I could tell, and I could have made a mistake on this, but going through a bunch of what I knew were lower muzzle velocity cannons, this is the only one that was lower. Uh, the answer is the Hurricane 2D with the 40 millimeter cannons. The muzzle velocity on these is very small. I mean, we're talking 15% slower even than the shells coming out of the XFL-1. And that's saying something. So these are slower even than low-tier machine gun shells. And uh, so as a result of that, I'm not sure how today's going to go because I'm going to do live gameplay with you guys. Uh, it's not something I do normally. Uh, maybe because I'm a little older, I don't necessarily have the skills to process, multitask, right, fly, and speak at the same time. Um, but I do know it's valuable to have that insight into a pilot's brain as they're working their way through things. And so I'm going to try and uh, verbalize that process for you today, and uh, hopefully it'll result in some good insight. It might, so, might also result in a bunch of mistakes. And so this is a great video for you to point out things I have missed, uh, help me to learn, and see what you see uh, when you are flying in the game as well. So uh, I'm going to show you my setup real quick. Uh, I'm going to hit the pause button and jump us into a match. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you some of the stats on uh, this bad boy, uh, the Hurricane 2D. So I've got my uh, Swift pilot in it. Uh, so uh, basically a nine, nine point pilot, although the ninth point I haven't assigned anything. So, or excuse me, 10 point pilot, the ninth, uh, tenth I haven't assigned anything. But aerobatics expert, aerodynamic expert, marksman one and marksman two, those are gonna be important because uh, these guns have really not great accuracy. And so we're gonna have to knife fight with them uh, kind of the way you do with the Spitfire one machine guns. So uh, you gotta get in close, at least that's my theory. I, I've played this a little bit, I think, in two uh, but not very often and um, you know overall I'm not sure this is a great plane so this may be a wonky match anyway but uh, nonetheless there and then for equipment I, I just have uh, the gun sight with extra accurate uh, cr critical hits uh, I've got lightweight wing frame because the maneuverability of this thing was driving me a little nuts um, so that's kind of what I have right now on that. And I've got gas separated action again with the idea that we're going to be in close on these planes when I'm doing the hits and so the accuracy is already bad. Hopefully that increases the DPS a little bit, um, allows me to land a few more hits and make up for what will probably be my poor accuracy, if not the gun's poor accuracy. So I'm going to hit the pause button on the recording software until we get into a match. So you're not staring at a screen for two minutes, uh, waiting on other people to queue up and then we shall see what happens from there. So, hang tight. Let's see how this goes. All right, looks like we have found ourselves a match here. Yep, command center, air bases. Make sure everything is still good here. Yep, awesome. So we're going to dive into this one. Command center in the middle, of course, air base up top, two garrisons here. Um, we'll want the command center and then the air base. We'll let the garrisons handle themselves. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, here's the alternate interface I was talking about. Uh, I think I've talked about that before on the last one. Yeah. Uh, so you can see down at the bottom left corner there, my 40s and 7s. Uh, so you can see a little better the overheat on those. Um, and again, that's. I just think it's easier to put that in the uh, press rather than hold state. Uh, one interesting thing, by the way, the sun also does affect visibility. So we're at a little bit of a disadvantage. <laughs> Uh, launching into the sun. I'm not sure if Wargaming intended for that to be the case or not, but uh, but it is a thing. We got an F4U on our side, oh, that's a plot, and uh, a B17G and a 109E, excellent XP54. They've got a JU88P, a NIAC 9, P38, and a 209V4. So this is great. There's a lot of players in this match. That's fantastic. We're going to go for what we... I'm not going to be able to catch either of these guys unless they just present themselves to me. Uh, and it looks like that's what they're going to do. So we're going to try and clear this guy. I know I usually go for the rear plane, but he's more dangerous. He's on the tail of my compatriot. And so that's what we want to do. Oh, come on. Get to that F4. Don't turn, buddy. Don't turn. Outrun. All right. Good. He's safe. Oh, no. My goodness. Okay. This guy's getting on me. So maneuverability isn't too bad now that I've got that lightweight wing frame. I am worried about this V uh, Yak-9. 
So these are, you know, sniper cannons, but they don't have the range, unfortunately. All right, Ace of Spades is next. We've won sort of the initial toss-up here, I feel like. But that doesn't mean that this place is secured, but I have the firepower. Okay, I'm going to come off of him. There we go. All right. See how slow those shells are moving? It's pretty crazy, isn't it? All right. Our teammate has that. There's a heavy behind us. Oh, the P-38 is back. That's how long it's taken us. All right. Sorry. We've got to clear this out. Uh, of course, I get smoked in the cockpit. This might be one where I, I consider carrying a first aid kit instead of a fire extinguisher because the aim is so bad on it. There we go. And now the Yak-9. Nope. We could probably go head on with him, but I don't want to. All right. What do we get? Do we get his engine or his pilot? I don't know. All right. So this is good. We got this place. All right, let's go get the, oh, we got the airfield too. Well, fellas, this may be a short match. We'll see how it goes. So at this point, I'm inclined to stay here, gain altitude. I'm gonna go to the back side of the zone. I'm not sure why the indicator is giving me 600 meters, because I'm pretty sure these bad boys don't get out that far. It's interesting. Come on, P-38, wreck his day. All right, we desperately need some points back in this zone. Clear our buddy's tail here. That was an easy shot. You don't need a lot of deflection on that one, right? So the low muzzle velocity didn't hurt us. How's the airfield hanging on? All right, we got to specialize. There's a little one over there, all right. Well, one of the things multi-rolls, especially gun multi-rolls, can do well is defend. So, we're going to gain some altitude. Come up here. Our bot P-51 wants to play with IL-2. Hopefully he doesn't get himself killed. Yeah, like I said, might be... Might be a short match. So close in distances, 300 meters, slow moving target, muzzle velocity does not hurt you, right? And really in dogfighting, it doesn't seem to hurt you too much at this point. But, you know, that may just be <laughs> many years experience talking uh, from having to compensate for these things. Ten seconds of boost is nice, I will say that. I haven't even had to touch my... Uh, Oh, well, that's going to be interesting with the P-38 there. All right. Let's see if we can get down on these three. I'm not sure putting my back to those Yak-9s is the best idea, but I don't think they've latched on quite to where we're at yet. And I'm a little worried about the ordinance of this P-38, who's clearly treating himself as a ground attacker, right? All right. Oh, and there's a the game. Almost had him. Almost. Almost. So we've got a Lambert medal for 400 capture points in a multi-roll and a 9K personal. That was a little bit of a slaughter, though. Um, it's interesting. I, I think the, the mismatch on that was, I haven't seen the scores yet, obviously, but I'd be willing to bet the P-38 ground pounding against an XP-54 probably didn't go well. Um, and then our um, BF-109 against their 209. You know, I think I see which way that one leans to. <laughs> and then Yag-9 against the Hurricane. Yeah, it is what it is. So nine targets destroyed. Only one of those air defense. Um, and that map, that map is really conducive to stomping on people. I think I see a lot of a lot of steamrolls on that map, just considering. So yeah, XP-54, 
and we didn't capture that many zones either, right? Just because it was that raffle stomp. So he did pretty good. Five targets down, got the B-17 that was rocking, uh, the E and the F4U. We all did one. So, yeah, nobody really, like, jumped out and really hammered the hammered the buttons there, I guess. Uh, Kiss Roll did, did fairly well with this one. And, you know, I don't blame him for trying to go head on. That's one of the strengths of the Act 9 But um, there you go. So we just were a little little on top of it on that one. Um, you know, if this had played differently, maybe. Oh, I didn't realize there were two. Yeah, so there were two, actually, P30Fs. Uh, so that's, I wonder if Hup Up went. He might be a new player, or he might have gone AFK. Who knows? One of the two. Anyway, first impressions, you know, that, that very slow muzzle velocity didn't hurt us a whole lot so long as we stayed in close and took our time with lining up shots. Um, yeah, again, on paper, these things have a 600 effective fire range, but I was getting a little bit of a lights up uh, over that, um, I think, which was interesting. I don't have long barrels on it, obviously, so kind of curious. We're going to do another battle since that one was short, and again, I won't put you through the rigmarole of waiting in the, in the queue, but uh, we'll pause here and come back to it after I hit the battle button, so hang tight. Well, the joke was on me because I didn't take long at all, but uh, still, we saved you a little bit of time. So we've got Burning Sands this time, one of the oldest maps in the game and one of my favorites. Um, I enjoyed the transition to 2.0, kept this map mostly intact, uh, which was a lot of fun and added some good details. So three garrisons up and down the middle and then uh, the two airfields on either side. So this time we've got uh, 217, P38L, My Hurricane 2, IL-2, 109E. XP-55, A-26, Hurricane-2, Bowfighter, IL-2. I would say we have a little bit of advantage in terms of the planes, especially if that uh, Specialized 38L knows his business. Uh, but uh, we'll see what kind of happens here. Yeah, I'm lighting up at like 700, not 600, aren't I? Let's get this one since we're in close. Yeah, the trick here is getting that capture point set up first zone. When you got like five players on a team, you need to pick something and hammer it, right? All right, so looks like E's going. Looks like we got a couple of people going that way. Where did he ping? Yeah, yeah, that's good. We're, we'll go that way too. Not a super fast plane, but we're over our uh, altitude, so I'm going to dive a little bit. It's one of the weaknesses of this plane is the, um, you know, kind of lower altitude on it. Yeah, it's just it's tricky being a ground pounder plane without any ordnance, which is essentially what this game was historically as well, right? I think the 40s were on it. It's ugliest, ugliest uh, desert camo in the game, in my opinion, as well, by the way. It's probably one of the reasons I don't fly it as much. But um, it's an awkward aircraft all around, but it hasn't been as bad as I thought it was going to be, kind of going into this. Oof, that was bad. I definitely whiffed that shot. Come on, baby. One more. One more. All right. Let's see what we got. We got the Bowfighter up there and the Ascender. What am I? I'm more afraid of the Ascender, but I'm not sure I can get to him in time. So we're going to bail. Come this way. Yeah, come vertical. Oh, interesting. There we go, we got some hits. And let's get the Ascender next. Can we get a cannon shot on this guy? Because if we can cripple something. I don't think he saw us there. There we go. That was fortunate. Uh, especially with both of us rolling there. We're going to dive into this P-38. I'll say one of the nice things that makes up maybe for the low muzzle velocity is the rate of fire on these is much higher than it probably was historically, right? So any ground targets we can finish off? No, of course not. Okay, so three pumps on the AA gun takes it out. Handy to know. These towers will crash you. That's also handy to know if you're new. All right, we'll take it. 
also take some repair since we got hammered right there. Alright, got an XFL, F4F. How are we doing on zones? We got three. Bots are whiffling away. 109's got him. Alright. Check in, check in patterns. Our 109 has their multi roll. So we're going to go in the center and capture this. Or at least help to capture it. We're going to get some altitude too. Our tornado is being chased. He's going away from us, so we may not be able to help him. I do see the specialized heavy there. He's headed away from us. This guy's climbing, so it'll be a little easier of a target. One of our planes went down or something, because we just lost. There we go. And that'll do it. Got a bot F4F over here. It's getting a little bit of the speed we lost a second ago. That's that shows you how slow, right? You saw how 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 low and slow those shells were on that one. All right, let's defend the center here. We'll do a little. Yeah, come on. It's a two v one, so this should be fairly easy, right? I'll just cut his turn there. Hopefully our bot finishes him off. Airfield over there is looking good. Airfield over there is solid. Yeah, they're starting. There's two v two over there. This one, it's interesting. I'm not sure. There we go. That might be the. No, that's a bot bomber too. All right. Well, we're gonna. They're probably gonna take this back before we get over there, which is fine. I really don't want another air supremacy. Honestly, I just, you know, on my suggestion box for uh, or gaming, it would be do away with air supremacy. All right, and they shot that bomber down. He's got that one. I mean, we've got him hemmed up completely into their zone at this point, right? So this is not going to be a high-scoring match. All right, well, we'll head over this way, and obviously this is the zone they're going to want to take. And uh, we'll see what we can do about it. It's not squall line yet, even, so. We are sort of heading into the hornet's nest, and this is what I would be careful of. You know, look how many red planes are up there. Yeah, we need to be careful about that. If we come in, it needs to be under our terms, right? So let's scoot off a little to the side of the zone here. And when they come in, we'll hit them from the side. And from above, if at all possible. All right. More worried about this guy. I mean, honestly, my biggest concern is the ascender still. But it's not going to matter. Points are out. There you go. All right. Third in team. Some ribbons. No medals on that one. Things going too quickly. Let's see what our post-match says about that. So the first match was better, although it was a uh, air supremacy as well. We'll check out that P-38L Lightning did as well as a follow-up. Uh, still haven't decided if I'm buying it yet or not. I got to decide on the P P-61 today, right? I think it goes off sale tomorrow. So we'll see about that. It's only seven this time, and I think a number of those were air defense. Yeah, it was mostly air defense aircraft. So a little more of a lackluster game for me, this one, uh, more so because it was hard to find targets. Um, and this is the real, we've talked about this before, but for those of you who are new to the channel, this is the, this is the real issue with um, overpowered aircraft and specialization of tech tree aircraft. Right, uh, because these two guys uh, were able to do pretty incredible things and keep a foot on the neck of the enemy team, right? And uh, so what that means is these aircraft, uh, which are more slower paced, right, um, have a harder time earning points. Um, you know, I can do some defensive stuff and work on that, but 
it's uh, it's not not super easy or awesome. Um, and the other team, of course, struggled because of uh, everything that was happening. So, you know, this is this is one of those things that um, is just part of the game that we have to deal with. Um, the nice thing is you can, at least with the 109E, you can get the 109E and specialize it and get some pilots, take some time and some free XP, but you can do it. And then the P38L, I guess, is on sale this week if you want it. Uh, but there you go. So that's the Hurricane 2D in live action uh, with live commentary. It was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Not as painful as I thought. Now that may have been, I may have be singing a different tune if I was getting hammered on losing team for a couple of matches instead of this one. But you know, I do think there's a decent average turn time on this, right? 10 seconds is pretty good. You're going to be faster than the heavies, but not as good as the light fighters for the most part. You have a decent range of speed to work with here. Uh, allows you to stay optimal. The rate of roll is not bad. It's not great, but good enough. And the yaw felt pretty good as I was working on this as well. Part of that may be the equipment. And then at tier 5, you've got 360 and 540. I'm not sure that we ever sniffed that 540 top speed. I think that would have to be in a, you know, you need some dive assistance to get up that high. Uh, but... Uh, but it wasn't nearly as bad an experience as I thought it was going to be. And as I said in the comments on the last video, I feel like that's that's the case for most of these, you know, kind of older planes that they're not really bad. This is not a bad plane. It's just, you know, if you're going to if you're going to do some work at tier 5, you got missions to do or whatever else, you know, why not the Spitfire 1A? Why not the AM6E3? Why not the you know, 109E that's specialized, right? <laughs> Why not take a, a very strong plane in, and especially if you're marathoning, which is essentially what the daily missions are. They're mini marathons. You want to complete them as quickly as possible with as little grind as possible. And that means getting as strong a plane as possible particularly if you've been around for a while and you're kind of bored with the process at this point. So I just want to show you one other thing. I think um, I may switch to this just to avoid the ugly desert camo. This is the parade camo, quote unquote. Uh, this is the uh, camo that gives a bonus to XP. It was given for free to alpha and beta testers. I believe it's available for regular clients as with, at this point as well. Uh, but I like this one a lot. This is, this is much more fun than this. I know it's not quite as quote unquote deserty as this one is, uh, but I like it better. Bonus, uh, the Hurricane 2D is one of the few planes that has this black paint job um, on it as well. I know it's not, you know, Vanta black or <laughs> but pure black, but sort of a bluish black, but it is pretty cool as well. There's a couple of the heavy fighters that have this and a couple of the Brit fighters that have it as well. Uh, but still, I think I could pass for a desert camouflage. We may we may stick with that instead of the uh, the bonus camouflage. So there you go. All right, it is done. Well, thanks for flying along with me today. Uh, i got another video for you later this week, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Probably not going to be a three-video week. I've got a lot going on uh, next weekend, sadly. So we'll try and get at least two out for you, though. But if you have any questions, hit me up. If you have any things I missed, things I should have been paying attention to in the match, throw those in the comments. And uh, if you learn anything or have any uh, insight into this plane or Tier 5, uh, feel free to drop those down there as well. Um, we get, we're at a great time right now. There's a lot of great content coming out. Noble Q has got some new videos going. Major Pain has got some new videos going. Um, a lot of players uh, throwing up videos right now. So great time for content for World of Warplanes. Enjoy some of that. Hope you learn from it. And so that this game can continue to be engaging and fun for you and for new players coming in. So I will catch you on the next one. Good luck and good hunting.